Lions HR presents the University of North Alabama Week in Review. And now, here's your host, J.D. Byers. Football had an off week as they prepare for game four. We are going to take you to the volleyball court, though, in just a moment for a key Gulf South Conference victory. But first, this word from Lions HR. Hi, I'm Bill Lyons with Lions HR. If you own or operate a small business, then you're aware of the growing number of challenges affecting your profitability. And if you're like most companies, the most expensive challenges are often people related. At Lions HR, we've helped hundreds of business owners who were frustrated with the rising costs of payroll, workers' compensation, employee benefits, and the ever increasing number of employment regulations. There's a better way to manage your human resources. Find out how working with Lions HR can improve your company's profitability. We lead off with UNA Volleyball in a big conference win. Megan Gorey had 20 kills and hit 421 for the match on September 24th. The Lions took the victory 3-1. The Lions hit 370 as a team in the opening set, scoring on a 7-1 run to win 25-17. UNA is now 3-8 on the year. Tuesday night, it's a trip to Spragansall for UAH. Game time set for 7 o'clock. UNA football was off Saturday, but spent the extra week preparing for the Shorter Hawks kickoff this Saturday live from Rome, Georgia. It's set for 1230 Central. We'll join you on the network at noon. For his efforts versus Delta State, UNA's Gabe Poe earned Conference Player of the Week honors. And Poe had 21 tackles, three shy of the Lions' single game record. Nine of those 21 were solo. In Memphis, a competitive effort by the UNA women's cross country team. Scott Trimble's squad finished 11th out of 25 at the Rhodes Invitational. Savannah Rowland finished 14th overall with a 23-21. The men's field featured 27 teams. The Lions finished 21st. Clay Oden finished 93rd out of 228 runners. Cross country is back in action October 4th in Clinton, Mississippi at the Watson Ford Invitational. A tough day for UNA soccer as the Lions fell to Christian Brothers University 2-1. The Lady Bucks tied it late at one apiece in the 87th meeting, but then won it in overtime. Chloe Richards had UNA's only goal via a free kick unassisted, her third of the season. The Lions host Delta State Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. UNA Golf is in Columbus, Georgia, competing at the AFLAC Intercollegiate. Look for the results at RoarLions.com. The Lion Golf Team opened the season with a first place finish September 17th at the Kiowa Island Invitational. Again, UNA football is on the road in Rome, Georgia this Saturday. Kickoff set for 12.30. We'll join you on the network radio-wise at high noon. The Lions return home for homecoming on October 12th. That's homecoming versus West Georgia. For ticket availability, 765-LION. I'm J.D. Byers for the Weekend Review. The Week in Review brought to you by Lions HR. Join us again next time for the University of North Alabama Week in Review.